and uh, yes please and also uh, sorry sir and also sir it's my passion to you know teach others i'm good in talking so i think teaching would be a good option for me that's all right right, right. thank you very much sajida and now let's move to other one nuzad is also there yes nuzad can you please introduce yourself Yes, Nuzat. Can you please introduce yourself? <coughs> Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Uh, sir, this is Nuzat Rahman from uh, Chicago. Uh, I have done my BS in English literature from University of Sen in two thousand nineteen, and right now I am working as a private. Uh, a tutor in a private school and uh, I've prepared my uh, lecture written test in 2021 and now preparing for the interview right and now and before you right we welcome you Nuzat can you please tell us thank you sir uh, can you please tell us the motivation behind joining teaching any purpose any solid reason sir our educational system Okay. What I feel, what I think that uh, our education system is lacking behind the modern modernity and it is unable to meet the modern needs of today's world. Right. So we have to strengthen the and boost up the confidence among the students through imparting the best and authentic knowledge right. into them. So I think this is the better way to serve the people. Excellent. Sajida? Uh, you listen to yes. Nuzat's answer. See the way she yes, is because uh, the, these days getting a job is very essential for us, right? And everybody yes, needs sir. to be financially stable, right? But sir, I really appreciate her. Sir, I really appreciate her. Yes. You are logic and everything. Exactly. The way you present yourself, you so your concern should not be the job only. Your concern should be the yes, service. Sir. For example, you can say in our background, Historically speaking, yes, the way teaching is going yes, on, our school has got a gap. That is, you are the one to identify that gap and you are going to bridge it, right? By rendering your services in that position, right? So, uh, excellent, uh, Nuzat. This was, uh, you know, well argumented answer. Good. Uh, let's move Thank you so to Shazia. much. Thank you. Yes, Shazia. Um, Shazia can listen. Oh, well, uh, to begin with, this is uh, Abdullah Lagari. I'll be your instructor for eight sessions. Uh, we are going to start the very first session about interview skills. Uh, before I tell you something about myself. So these sessions uh, will be all about how to create interview skills in SPSC. Uh, you know, the very first thing that is required in SPSC. Uh, let me tell you something about myself. I'm a university uh, teacher. Uh, I've been serving at Kaidewam University for five years. Before this university, I was the faculty member at uh, Education and Literacy Department, Government of Sin means lecturer like you. Uh, you know, my subject was uh, linguistics and we had qualified the taste for literature. And then this was a confusion. Uh, I was facing even in the interview of SPSC. Then, uh, yes, I was done with that. Uh, before joining the uh, Sindh government, uh, I was working as a teaching assistant at the Institute of English Language and Literature, University of Sindh. I have served there for a long time too. Besides, I'm working as a, a, an active researcher, uh, public speaker and uh, master trainer too. Uh, teaching is my passion. Uh, you know, there are so many people who take teaching for granted. But to me, teaching is uh, not by default. I have, uh, I have had the passion of teaching, right? So yes, we have next. Sumera is uh, connecting. So uh, the very first, uh, session of ours 
regarding interviews will be how to introduce yourself. Because it is said, uh, when you introduce very well, it leaves a very positive impact on the interview panel. We'll talk about the psychological aspects of interview. We'll talk about uh, some uh, personality traits, how to psychologically deal with uh, the interview panel, right? And then we'll be talking about uh, the demonstrations also because demonstrations and your introduction, they're very important. And you always start your interview with your introduction because your introduction means a lot. It matters in the sense that this, you know, see, your interview lasts, continues for how many minutes? What do you think SPSC interview will continue for how long? Any idea? Twenty-five minutes. Nuzat says twenty-five minutes. Maximum twenty-five minutes. Minimum. Sajida, what do you say? Sir, I think half an hour maximum. Half an hour. Half an hour is too much. That's too much. Noor. Shazia's husband says she's in work, right? Can be five to five minutes. Five minutes is less. Sumera is connecting, right? You know, uh, as far as, as, far as uh, my experience is concerned about SPS interviews, they last uh, for 10 to 15 minutes. 15 minutes is quite good. But if you're there in the interview just for five minutes, that means that's, uh, you know, the alert. Yeah. And that is dangerous. Five minutes, that's dangerous. Dangerous in the sense they're not satisfied. Dangerous in the sense they don't want to explore more about you. Dangerous in the sense they are no more interested in you. But if it continues for 15 or so minutes, this means they are very much interested in you. They want to explore more about you. They want to see and evaluate. They actually are looking for, or they are hunting the talent you possess, the knowledge you possess. This means if your interview continues for 10 to 15 minutes, that's very positive. And that's a very, very positive gesture. Okay, uh, in the chat, uh, you can see the comments of everyone, right? Uh, I would like everyone to participate actively and please help each other. Like Sumera, she's facing problems, she's not connecting. Uh, this might be uh, the network issue with her, uh, Wi-Fi connectivity. If that's that's not fine, that's not strong, there's no fault on a part. But in some cases, those who are struggling, please guide them, right? Like uh, Noor, she cannot speak, uh, she says she's at work. Okay, fine. That's okay. And you can comment in the comment box also. That is inbox. That's there. That's very positive. So we'll try to make this platform uh, very interactive and very resourceful also so that we can gain something by sitting at home. Now, uh, the very first thing was how to introduce yourself. So how to introduce self, yourself requires uh, let me share something with you and then I'm coming here. Yes, you can uh, see the screen, please. Can you see the screen, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes. Right. So the very first thing is, how to introduce yourself, right? right? Yes, what's written on the screen? 
Can you see the screen, please? Yes, sir. <clears throat> what is it? What is it? Yes, can you please see now? Yes, can you see? What's written on the screen? What's the very first question? Sajida, can you read it? What's that? Yes, sir. Uh, should I read the full, full yes. passage or? Yes, yes, full, completely. Okay, sir. Sir, it is how to introduce yourself Okay. And then first, imp first impression leaves a positive impact on the interview panel. On the interview panel. Now to begin the, panel. the very first thing is steps to follow. These are the steps yeah. that you need to follow. You know, the very first is brief educational background. background. Now what does it mean? You know, it says you have to briefly, you have to briefly tell them, give them a brief background of yours in terms of your education. Where did you get education from? Uh, what family you belong to, right? So you have to briefly talk about your education or even you can include your educational achievements also, right? The current educational status. Number two is current educational status. Can you see? Is this screen visible to you, everyone? Is it visible to everyone? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So let me check this. Uh, I have connected it, so Sumera has connected, but no voice. Oh, yes. Farzana is, uh, she needs a interview uh, link, please, meeting link. Can someone share with her? So let me share, I have shared with her. Right. Okay, fine. So what I said? The very first thing is brief educational background, number one. Number two, the current educational status. Number three, your academic achievements. <laughs> For example, you as a student, what have you achieved in your educational life? Or higher degrees that you got. For example, you've got... Uh, uh, MPhil degree, you are enrolled in PhD, you, you have penned down so many research articles, uh, you have been, uh, you know, writing to different delis, I mean, Dawn newspaper, Delhi, Delhi Times or whatever, or even Ka Kavish newspaper, you, you have been a writer, for example, all right, you have written books, okay, so, so your academic achievements, that's also very important, you have to tell them in the very first introduction. Number four, your positively, I mean, strengths. Your strengths, what are your strengths? So what is the area you are good at? What is special in you? What can you do? What is in you that is not found in others? How much capable you are? Why should SPSC, SPSC hire you? So your strengths. You've got leadership skills. You are a good planner. You manage the things very well. You are an artist, you are a good writer, 
you've got very good, very effective communication skills. What is that? You have to exactly tell them. Number four, number five, body language. You know, your body language, when you're talking to them, for example, what do you think, how many members of interview panel can be? Any idea? Yes, any idea? Sir, maximum. Maximum? So I think three. Yes, maximum three, three to five. Three to yes. five. Uh, it can be, you know, uh, the chairman, chairman commission, right? And subject specialist. And uh, uh, retired judge too. Right? What else? How about this one? Psychologist. Psychologist, what do you say? Right, we are not confirmed about psychologist, but chairman education, subject specialist, <laughs> and retired judge, and psychologist, right? So your body language, your body language counts. So what do you mean by body language? Any Any idea? Yes, what do we mean by body language? The body language speaks a lot uh, in terms of your confidence, the way you deal, the way you speak, your eye contact matters a lot. And either you use your hands more or less, it, it, it is again comfortable. And you're, how you are sitting at the chair and this is all about. Right, right. Very good. Very good, Nazar. Uh, Sajida, what do you say? Yes, sir, body language means your outer appearance, the style of your talking, the style of your sitting, and also the, the extent to which you move your hands and how much you keep eye contact with the jury. And also the means the low level of confidence, the magnitude of confidence you have while communicating with the jury. All right, right. Okay. Sumira, what do you say? Yes, Sumaira. I agree more with uh, Nuzat. Yes, body language is all about, you know, your uh, gestures, features, facial expressions, body movement, eye contact especially. See, for example, it is a chairman who's asking the question. Your eye contact has to be Heads towards the towards the chairman. But if it is a general question, so you have to, you know, keep turning your eye contact. Your eye con contact will not be fixed. Right? You have to keep turning, keep moving. Okay? So you have to revolve that. Body language, you have to use your hands positively. And uh, yes, if, if you think, if it is needed, not endlessly, you keep uh, moving your hands like that, right? There are some people who adopt habits like that. They either keep moving their heads or sometimes hands also, right? So do not do that uselessly. It should be useful and meaningful. You know, your uh, body movement, it should be again, like, uh, I don't know, for example, uh, in our previous discussions, for example, you can move your hand, I, and sometimes head also, nodding your, nodding your head, this means you agree with them. Your posture also is, uh, Nuzat says, your posture, right? The way you are sitting, okay? Uh, it should not be the case that you are sitting cross-legged, for example, one leg after other one, right? The feudal style, we need not go for that, okay? So we have to be, you know, 
uh, yes, like this. Uh, we should not be uh, inclined uh, on any side, for example, like this one, okay? Or uh, uh, this one, okay, no. So you have to be quite straight, okay? But it, it doesn't mean that your uh, posture is robotic, okay? So you should be very flexible, depend, depending on uh, the idea, depending on the question. You can agree, you can disagree, or whatever comes, because for body language, it is sad. Your every word, your every sentence should be followed by your body language. I hope that you must have got it. And you know, your number six is your weakness, your weaknesses. So your weaknesses, uh, for example, how you define this in the introduction? So if you can say you can do this, you can do this, you're the master and all, right? However, I'm not that much good, but again, <coughs> I can manage to do that. If my confidence, uh, if I am encouraged, if I am duly guided, I can do that, right? However, you can, Cover up your weakness also. You can tell them. You can tell them. But this doesn't mean that you have to describe in detail your weaknesses. Uh, sometimes if you're cramming all the steps of your interview and you forget about this one, your positivity are your strengths. Right? You forget about this one and you straight away come on this one, weaknesses. So mm. what will be the impact? <coughs> what will be the impact? The impact will be that there are some faults in your personality. Pessimism. Yes. Right. And your weakness is there. Why should SPSC hire you? You have to tell them something like this. Something special, something extraordinary, so that they should be motivated. They should be inspired. Rather, they should be in a position to hire you. They should finally, because you know, every day what happens, every day I think they conduct, uh, uh, they call uh, uh, three to four, right? For example, uh, one, Four against one. This is the rule of SVSV. Four are three against one, okay? If there are three students, if there are four students, so one out of four will be selected. One out of four, right? For example, four are uh, 10 people have come, 10 have appeared, they are interviewed, they will decide. Out of these 10, which three are eligible, okay? So there should be something special in you so that SBSE should hire you, right? So uh, this is a very brief uh, discussion about how to introduce yourself. Because when you introduce yourself very well, it leaves a positive impact on the audience, I mean on the interview panel. So we'll make this uh, platform very interactive and very practical also. This will not be theoretical only. So now it is your time to tell me to practice introducing yourself. You have to practice now. Right? So you have to practice how to introduce yourself. So how many minutes should I give you? So how much time do you require for this?
So I'll be listening to everyone. You know, uh, when you prepare for this, the very first thing is prepare. What do you want to say? Right? And then practice. And practice. What is that? Practice what you have planned. So I'm going to give you uh, some time now. How much time do you need? But remember, when you're planning about, when you plan to introduce yourself, length should be at least minimum length should be five minutes. You should plan Excuse your me, introduction. Sir. Sorry? Excuse me, sir. I have a question, sir. Yes, please. Sir, you are. I I want that brief educational background. So, in that that brief, should that brief educational background include our entire educational right from matriculation or just the above one? Means there are only master's degree. Of, for example, for example, this is Abdullah. I got my primary education from here. For secondary education, I moved towards city, and afterwards, I got graduation. And then, university was the most significant step of my life. That provided me uh, insightful guidance and I developed some personality uh, traits and I became a skilled too. So university was the life changing moment for me in the sense that I became professional and I got a professional degree. On the basis of this uh, university degree, I moved towards my M MS and PhD, for example. Now this is how uh, you start with, but depends on person to person, how do you start it? But again, you have to go yes, for and you have to begin with uh, your educational background, right? So uh, these components, example, one to seven, you must add them. Uh, you can uh, include others also. Depends on you, right? So uh, these are some of the steps for uh, introducing yourself. And I'm going to give you some time to practice and I'll listen to each one of you and I'll give you a constructive feedback. So how much time do you need it? Yes, Sajida? Sir, 15 minutes will be okay. 15 minutes. You may sir, take any other opinion as well, but according to me, 15 minutes is enough. Right. Nuzat, what do you say? How much time should be given? Sir, I think 10 to 15 minutes 15 are minutes, enough. 15 minutes is okay, right? But we cannot say it's enough. Because it's random, okay? It's random now. Uh, I'll randomly guide you. But for the real interview, you know, uh, I had prepared um, many times. Many times in the sense for my, my university introduction, I had worked, you know, for more than a year. Because when I qualified uh, this test, written test, I kept working on that. I planned it and then every day I used to work on it. Every day I used to work on it and I got innovations also. So result was when I performed, when I was in the interview panel, I performed excellently and I led the rest. So I got the food. Yes, it took time. Sometimes selection boards take a lot of time. Like uh, uh, this interview is taking also. So when did you qualify a in test? So SPSC, SPSC had conducted the written test, I think, uh, a year back. In March 2021. March 2021. March 21. It is yes, December sir. 22. Yes. Almost two years. See? Yes. Sir. Okay. Anyways. Fine again. Okay. I'm giving you uh, uh, 10, uh, 15 minutes now. We'll see again at... Uh, 5.55. Is that okay? Okay. 5.55. Please discuss, plan, practice, and 
your minimum time will be five minutes. I'll give uh, constructive feedback to each of the participants. Is that okay? Okay. Yes, sir. Right. So, uh, thank you very much. See you.